We are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. We made it to the tunnel. <laughs> uh, it was sketchy this morning. It's been raining all night. So literally the road coming out of the campsite was not only like that, as steep as a horse's face, but it was like a river and the uh, recycling truck decided to come down just as we were going out. It was uh, it's single track as well, isn't it? Yeah, single oh. track. So yeah. it's perfect. So as soon as I turn out, there's a, a rubbish truck in the middle of the <laughs> single track lane. Um, but yeah, we got past there and... Well, you say we, you got past it. Me and Coco. <laughs> me and Coco. Emma and the dogs decided to uh, to go out earlier and and have a walk and walk past it. You're gonna have a little nap, aren't you, when uh, when we get on the, the, the channel? Of course. We've got to have a sandwich first. Yeah, have a little, have first lunch. So first lunch will be about 11 o'clock. Then I'll have a little nap. Um, then we're ready for our two hour drive on the other side to uh, the first campsite. Let's hope this rain stops as long as it's not tomorrow morning as long as it's not raining tomorrow morning then that's all good because then that's the two traveling days out of the way and then we just start our holiday i like your optimism stay positive <laughs> namaste Turn off and brake first gear. Don't forget it's in first when you leave. Oh, I won't. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Kangaroo juice. <laughs> well, we made it. We made it to France. Excuse the dishevelled. Uh, look, it's been raining constantly since we arrived. Well, before we left actually and continued. Um, so yeah, so we made it all the way through customs and everything. That was all fine. They didn't check the van. They didn't do anything. So we um, didn't have to get rid of any food or anything. Not that we carried anything through because our doggies eat vegetarian food anyway. And we're vegetarians, so we don't carry any meat or dairy anyway. We drove to Neuf Chatel en Bray, a town just off the A16, a couple of hours south. Staying at a campsite we've stayed at before using our Axi card, costing us 20 euros for the night. The campsite also has a fully equipped motorhome air next door, but it's so popular, both times we visited it has been full. The air is €13 Euros a night, open all year and even has a shower. So we left Neuf Chapitel on Bray this morning um, and the sun has come out. We've driven three hours south um, and decided to stop in this camping car park air um, just north of Le Mans and uh, we're just having a rest now because it's been a bit of a stressful couple of days and then uh, tomorrow we're probably heading to Tours which is just about an hour down the road so uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna have a beer have some dinner and get an early light night um, so yeah see you tomorrow The camping car park airs vary in price. This one was €11.80 and that includes all facilities including electric and Wi-Fi. Okay, so we left our overnight stop and made our way to Tours. I'm just going to go and do a bit of shopping in the old car for I'll show you. It's quite a big one this. 
and then um, I'm gonna head over because I've actually got an Ikea here as well so I'm gonna head over there um, we could do with a mattress topper so I'm gonna pick one up from there and then we're heading off to for our stop is Sean and the doggies Hello. been out for a wee um, and yeah we're heading off to our stop for tonight so not a big drive today and hopefully I might be able to show you a bit of a chateau later so we'll see how it goes well we've been to Ikea shall we see what Emma's got what have you got Emma? <laughs> a wooden spoon and three lots of meatballs but the vegetarian ones and what's in the basket? And this is so I get a good night's sleep. Mattress topper. <laughs> Full review coming soon. Yes. Maybe not the spoon. No. Chateau Villandry is a grand country house located in the village of the same name in the Loire Valley. It's especially known for its beautifully designed Renaissance gardens. Villandry was built in 1536. Only the keep remains of the medieval castle which was demolished to make way for the current chateau. The house and gardens are open to the public and it's one of the most visited chateaus in France. The chateau has some interesting history and is also a world heritage site. Each room enjoys its own unique view, particularly of the gardens.
The Chateau is a must-see stop if you're in the region. And to see it at its best, the advice is to visit two hours before sunset. So this is our home for the evening, it's another camping car park and we're all in there somewhere. So that was a nice couple of hours away from uh, Sean and the dogs um, just visiting the chateau on my own. Very very nice, 12 euros to get in, um, that's for the house and the gardens, you can just go in on the gardens if you want to and you can take dogs in the gardens which are beautiful and well worth a visit anyway so I'm back at the uh, camping car park now so I'm gonna get a well-earned beer because it's six o'clock how cool is this this is a fruit and veg vending machine now we've seen a pizza one recently which is a first for us but this fruit and veg one is awesome you just uh, put your number in somewhere and then pay by card or cash and the little doors open and there's your fruit and veg it's amazing all sorts of stuff in there they got soup and jam and all the fresh veggies and even um, eggs at the end as well yeah they've got some fresh eggs too it's wicked I had a much better night's sleep after purchasing my IKEA mattress topper. I'm not sure if you can see this, but yeah, lovely eight centimeter memory foam mattress topper. Been having some issues with my hip, trap nerve at night, so I'm hoping that that does the trick. It was good last night, got a perfect night's sleep, so that's excellent. Sean's just filling up the water and emptying everything out before we head off down the road. We're probably just going to drive a couple of hours south today um, and we're going to try and get in a campsite tonight because Sean and I need a shower. Um, so uh, yeah, so we'll let you know if we get to where we want to go. See you later. Join us next time as we venture south and west towards the coast.